Praise the Lord. Praise the most high God. High God from whom all healing, supernatural dealings, corrections in life and blessings and the surgery of God flows through and from. This is the day that the Lord have made. I don't know about you, but I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, oof. I think a lot of us make that sound or that noise when we don't know what to say or when we're feeling I feel like a, when we're feeling rough, I feel like a 89 year old man who has an exercise since he was 60. The whiplash continues. I can do this a little bit and sometimes I got to turn my whole body <laughs> just to turn my head. So I took the day off. I just talked to my manager and I'm so grateful, Father God, for my director and, and management and, and the trainers and the teaching staff and crew at the Railroad Retirement Board, and I'm not trying to get a raise. I'm not trying to, I, can, I'm not, I don't toot my horn, but I'm gonna toot somebody, everybody else's horn. I'm grateful for leadership and grateful for followership, a word we don't use. I'm grateful for fellowship and partnership and friendship and thank God for worship. Thank God for the spiritual worship, battleship, and I'm just grateful. So I'm just sitting here waiting to go into the very aggravating VA get it very aggravating and I was just talking to a, a knucklehead who I've been dealing with for about almost three years young man and he called me talking about what he was trying to tell somebody else and when he got through giving me his uh, presentation he goes now what what you got to say about that brother Davis what you got to say about that I said you have no business giving anyone anybody anywhere anytime any how any who advice and you don't take advice. He said, huh? Uh, you don't take advice, but you have a proclivity, I like that word, or inclination to want to give advice, but you won't take advice. I said, advice, I said, add means loosens, A-D. Add means to interact with your mind and to loosen the lock on your mind. The vice squad, prostitutions, um, gambling, uh, beer or prohibition they had what's called a uh, vice squad pulling tabs or pulling tags or gambling shot houses call girls madams so the vice squad was responsible for the things that had took a moral lock on the minds of those who were engaged in it prostitution drinking drug abuse uh, even point a uh, porno magazines tab and, and tag or houses where you would go to gamble gamble uh houses of irrepute and so the vice squad was responsible for busting up the kegs of beer uh the pimps the prostitution uh, uh prostituting women uh, and and and, and uh, the act of prostitution the gang act and the and prohibition and all that and so uh, anytime you give someone advice, it's to loosen the lock on their mind. It's to get their head out of the uh, grip of the enemy or out of the anger or out of the demise or the societal ill that their mind is in. Advice. A lot of you all and a lot of us, and I'm certain of this, give advice. And we shouldn't be giving advice. If you can't take advice, you have no right, you have no business giving advice. As I leave this alone, I can't say it any straighter than this. I can't straight say it any uh, more direct than this. If you cannot take advice, you're going to stay in the same situation. If you cannot take advice, if you cannot take corrective criticism, if you cannot handle the truth. My mommy said, if you got a problem with the truth, you got a problem with God, and you can't charge God Almighty with no wrongdoing. Oh, we can't kick the door of heaven in and indict God for any type of wrong uh, uh, knowing or, or any wrong new K-N-E-W. God knew. God knows. He's all-knowing. and He don't plan and he don't guess. He don't have no plan B because he's plan A, Alpha, all by himself as I land God's airplane with his help. If you can't take advice, you're going to uh, lose your mind. And my mother and my papa, you say, if you lose your mind, you better remember where you lost it or where you put it. Uh, my granddaddy said, uh, I uh, can't get around this house 
but I know where everything is in this house. He'll say, go down the hall and look under the third uh, tile and there's $20 and go get a dollar worth of bologna, a dollar worth of hooked cheese, a dollar worth of South's meat. I grew up in the deep South. Even though he couldn't get around, he said, I know where everything is in this house. Uh, I know what's in my mind and I know when I need advice and I know when it's locked up on his own. Uh, I tell my mind oftentimes to shut the hell up. Oftentimes I tell hell to shut the hell up as I come on down like Bob Barker. If you can't take advice, uh, you have no business giving advice and you ought to leave it alone. Uh, the more you learn, uh, the more you live, uh, the more you work and the more you earn, uh, the more you listen. <laughs> the same letters and listen you find in the word silent and we need to listen to the lamb mm. if you can't take advice you shouldn't be giving advice god bless you god keep you god love you god saves god hears all the time god is listening hold to his unchanging hand it's two these two immutable things he cannot lie and he changes not He's the same 10,000 years ago, he's the same today, and he's the same forevermore. Take advice. Grow. Don't just grow old. Grow up. Take advice. Loosen the lock on your mind. Loosen the lock on your mind by taking advice. In Jesus' name I pray and ask it all. Amen. Advice. Live. Peace. One.